I'm getting a drink for Seth. He's been requiring a lot of care lately. So I'm doing my best to serve him, take good care of him. He's not feeling well. So let's go check on him, see what's going on here. Hey. Hello. Here's a drink for you. Thank you. Thank you. Hydrate. Yep. So, what's going on with you? Thirsty. Thirsty. Huh. Thirsty. You look kind of cozy. Yeah, it's a cold day. Yeah. Just, just chilling. What do we got going on here? Oh well, I'm just uh, testing out my my wife's nursing skills. Oh, you are. See I didn't know this was she's a test. Got what it takes to. Uh, Take care of me when I'm 80, if oh. I make it that far. How am I doing? Pretty good so far. Oh, good. <laughs> Why do I have to do this test? Well, let's show them. Kay. I had a little bit of a of a thing. A little bit of a thing going on. Yep. Ew! Uh, this one's just starting to not be black now. Oof. People are gonna love my, my toes. It's still got the orange. Yeah iodine or whatever too. So, I had a bit of an operation on my feet. Poor baby. That's really close. Uh, yeah, so from running and playing tennis for years I kind of had some issues and it was time to take care of them and it was supposed to be pretty simple and it's turned into more of a thing so had surgery last Thursday. Last Thursday yes. and um, I've been doing pretty good, but I can't, I couldn't really walk much at all and uh, swelling and bruising and pain. And so she's been taking care of me. Trying. So that's what we've been doing. Yeah. Sorry. We've been quiet because we've been dealing with this and it was supposed to be, <laughs> supposed to be 20 minute surgery and better in two days. But, uh, got big finger oh, um, yeah it was supposed to be a pretty quick procedure uh, I had like fluid leaking around a tendon but it was like a lot deeper than they thought so they kind of had to dig in there a little more um, it ended up taking what like over an hour hour and a half it was really long we were at the hospital for like six or seven, seven hours, hours. Um, mm. so since Thursday it's what Tuesday now mm -hmm. I've kind of been stuck in a chair and hobbling around and she's been making me yummy lunches and bringing me my drink and phone and taking really good care of me and uh she and also the kids and the house. she's also been a little bit of an aggressive nurse like if she won't let me do much so i want you to heal i know but like i'm trying to trying to get around a little more today i have these really cool shoes over there which we'll show you later <laughs> and uh i'm gonna try to maybe get out of the house today and uh walk around but I've got, I'm not in a ton of pain right now, but these dressings they have on me are so big, I can't wear normal shoes, and it's like 15 degrees out, so it's hard. Even, I can't, I can't even wear slippers or flip-flops yeah. because they're so big, and the pads on the bottom make me fall over backwards because it's like <laughs> raising my toes, and if I flex my foot too much, then it starts hurting and gets swollen, so it's been rough. So. And I chose to do this, and they were only going to do one foot, and I said, no, let's do both, because I only want to do this once, but I can't work, cr I can't use crutches, <laughs> because both feet hurt, so we're on the tail end of it now. But I hope so. It's been a, it's been a fun journey, but uh, so we're going to let you follow around uh, with us a little bit today, and yeah. um, work through my recovery together. So <laughs> thanks for not deserting us, but we're still here, we're okay. Yeah. She's fine. I know you guys really only care about her, so <laughs> so she's not going anywhere. I've taken care of you. I don't know. I'm wearing before. out doing yeah. being mom and dad. What's the hardest thing that you have to do now because the I can't? The hardest thing is keeping the fire going. And it's been a great... I've always appreciated Seth, and I've tried to share with you that he is a hard worker and he does a lot around the house. But now that it's all on me, I just appreciate you even more. Thanks. Mm -hmm. The fire like is the firewood bringing it in. I'm not. I didn't even chop it or split it, <laughs> but <laughs> just carrying it in is really hard on my physical ailments with my neck and back and stuff. So Saul's been a really good help, but they're back in school, so he can't, you know, do that during the day. Yeah. So 
trying to bring in a couple loads at a time and then keep it going and i am not gifted in the fire department so and i can walk and like i'm starting to f like adjust the fire but carrying pieces of wood like adding 40 or 50 pounds yeah. is it really hurts my feet so yeah hopefully in a few days i go back to get this stuff off and my stitches out and then they can tell me what i'm allowed to do but it's bad because i'm a, like a go type of person and now i'm stuck like he never sits still sitting or just slowly walk. it takes me a little while to get up the stairs and it's really hard i'm just going nuts and it's only been like four days so <laughs> i think it was day like we got home and you were pretty calm and quiet that day but the, the second day the first yeah, full day once at home, the anesthesia you were like, completely wore off okay how long mm -hmm. how, i feel like i've been in this chair for 10 days it was a little <laughs> rough so i'm ready i'm ready to go i'm glad it's yucky out because yeah. if it was summer i'd probably be getting into trouble and hurting my feet more yeah. but i have a tennis match in like a couple days and i don't want to cancel it but i'm gonna ask the doctor if he says i can play i want to this nurse says <laughs> but I, no tennis but for like I, a month i want to play you know he i'm just sitting out here waiting for my uh chauffeur <laughs> <laughs> this is my current attire. I don't normally ever leave the house in sweatpants. And then uh, check out these awesome shoes. Uh, these are the only thing that I can fit my giant club feet into. So I'm like officially a crippled old person. <laughs> so she's bringing the, the chariot around. I'm not gonna step out in front of her. Whoa. I thought she might honk the horn at me. Oh boy, big step. Do it. <laughs> this uh. is weird. All right, let me adjust this. This yeah. vehicle has a little more room. So I'd like to know, do they make like driving booster seats? Cause I feel like I can, you got the seat I can barely touch the ground. Is this safe? I think I just feel so little in this vehicle. Uh, we'll survive. This is my first trip out of the house since Thursday. I don't need to go anywhere. She could do this, but I just I need out of the basement. So I have some stuff here, um, tool rolls and some Jeep parts that I've made for people, and she made too the tool rolls that we need to get shipped. I felt bad. I did explain that this recovery took longer. And so I'm out welding, finishing up this project in my booties, sitting on a stool. So, but now we need to get him to the post office. So he's really good about running little errands to the post office or the store. So it's up to me now. Tables have turned. <laughs> pretty excited that I had this surgery so that um, she can have a week or two off. <laughs> Is that what you were thinking? Well, I don't know I'd say I'm excited you had surgery. Um, I guess that's a perk of you being down. My wooden clogs aren't very <laughs> stealthy so and I don't move very fast. And she's being so nice to me, I don't want to be mean. I'm always nice to you. Not as nice as you are right now. Well, I have She's to, taking good care of me. I'll be 100% honest. I would much rather be scared a couple times a week <laughs> than have to do everything I'm doing right now. You heard it here. Truth. Well, watch the road. I gotta watch the road. <laughs> Hopefully we make it. I've only driven this truck like once on the back road. Is this a safe idea? I don't know. I just feel like a little kid. Last night we watched a show on Netflix <laughs> and this blind girl attempted to drive a car and about five minutes into our ride she's like, I kind of feel like that blind girl last night. <laughs> I just feel weird, I don't know. That's not very confidence inspiring. So much bigger than my vehicle. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm good. Can reach 
apart this beast. Eh. Piece of cake. Piece of cake. That's pretty good. I will say, for a woman, you're a pretty good driver. Oh. I'm kidding. She's an excellent driver. Probably safer than me because she's more reserved. Okay. All right. All right. Emergency brake. Uh, yep. Here we go. Good job. All right. All right. I'll be back. Leave her on. My toes are freezing. Okay. Should I honk the horn and scare you? No. Thanks, baby. Okay. I guess she was successful. What you doing there? Success! You did I got it. it! Good job! Thanks! I need a stool! I guess, I mean, it's not like you were going on some like great quest or something. It wasn't that big a deal, right? No, it was great because. We have like our favorite no post office there. guy. Was it? Was it our man? He's the favorite post office guy. It's like if you come in here and he's not working, you might as well just leave because no one else can do their job. And this guy's like friendly and is like on point. And yep. so. Their people are pretty grumpy. Yeah. He so gets old. We're very he's thankful. He's friendly and kind. So. For our and a line, a line quickly formed behind me. So. Yeah. Since we have some time here in the truck, I'd like to share a story. Um, Andrea's not the best with tech, technology, and I just said she needs an. I have other talents. She needs an adult education course, um, specifically PayPal for dummies. Right? <laughs> that is so mean. Okay, Seth. PayPal for the technology challenged adult. So tell me, tell me what happened. I don't wanna. I'm embarrassed. They love you. They'll somehow this. They'll be mad at me for this story. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault. It's my fault. So. So what we just shipped, a tool roll. Uh, I've been making them for, I don't know, a while now and selling them and, um, sorry, I'm trying to park here. Um, and so we accept payment through PayPal. So I have an account and Seth has an account and the person that wanted to buy one, um, did not have an account, so I have learned really slowly and gradually, Seth probably helped me the first time I had to do this, but you can send out a request and you don't have to have PayPal, you can use your credit card, it sends you an email for payment. So I was trying to do that with this um, customer, but I pushed the wrong button. <laughs> I actually didn't request money from him, I just sent him money. So. Our prices are so good, we'll pay you to take our products. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Um, and the person that we we're dealing with wasn't really familiar with PayPal and they didn't even know how to get into their account. So we've been trying to work with them to get our money back. It's not resolved so, quite yet. Yeah. I think he's being honest and trying to give me the money back so I can request But I think he's on about the same level as her as far as PayPal experience, so. Yeah. Bless her heart, she's very gifted in many ways, but uh, I told her just Technology send, send the bills to me mm -hmm. from now on. And I don't even, I shouldn't even have an account. <laughs> she knows just enough to be dangerous, yes. like she can log in and that's about the extent of it. Sometimes you can log in. I don't you know. You don't know how many times a week this woman looks at me and goes, what's my password for blah, blah, blah? And I'm like, I don't know. I actually have passwords of her saved on my phone because anytime I retrieve passwords for her, I save them. I'm just a simple girl. Yeah, she just... You now, just... if it's on my phone, I always save the password, but, and so I can get in there. But if it, if I need if... to get on the computer or something, forget it. Yeah. Struggles. Yeah. So buy a tool roll, you'll get... <laughs> yeah, we'll pay you. <laughs> uh, oh, dear. We'll figure it out. Yeah, we will. Hi. She got me some of my favorite beer battered french fries if you guys saw my youtube story the other day some of you were confused because it wasn't in focus but it was ordered under heischer which as you know is not my real name it's how some people mess up our name so we got to be careful how we order yeah. stuff because people get confused <laughs> smells good yeah as long as we were out i figured i'd give him a little treat Thank you. You're welcome.
Bobby. Oh. Pedal to the metal, baby. Is that what you want? That's not, that's not very fast. This, this speed limit is 35 and I get mad at people for going so fast on this road. I cannot break the law. You are a goody two shoes if I ever saw one. No, it's just that I don't want to be a hypocrite. Okay, making a, setting a good example for the, the easy. It sounds loud, but we're going, not... uh, we're going 36. <laughs> it's two. Yeah, I don't want to get any blood clots. Now I gotta try to use a vehicle. Hobble, hobble out of here. Did you hear me? You worried about the truck? Not I said, me. not you. The vehicle needs run every now and then. It'll be fine. I need to get my gams in gear. <laughs> the old man key. What you doing there? Lunchtime. Mad. Burrito. No. It is a chicken fajita. It is. I don't know why I said burrito. She's been bringing me food here. I've been chilling, playing lots of Skyrim, and <laughs> sleeping. And she's taking care of me. Try my best. And yes, we still have our Christmas tree up. It uh, it calms me down. It's soothing. <laughs> yeah, we we always leave. It I up always for leave a while, it up. So. so we're gonna eat this yumminess, and I'm gonna let my feet rest. They're starting to thump a little bit. Thanks for lunch. Sure. What are you doing there? What in? Doing my work for me. Don't burn your nail. Be good for now. I just have to keep it going. I just, it can't go out or we will be done for. <laughs> I mean, we survive. We do have oil. We just try not to use it. And then I guess if it was like an extreme situation, I have made fires. I'm just <laughs> not very good at it. It's much easier to just keep it going, huh? Yeah, yeah. And I can, I can help now, but she's like, she yells at me. She's not happy I'm up right now. I don't want him to get hurt. Bobbled over here. You just, you like, you like doing it. Like no, secretly. I do not like doing it. <laughs> so much more respect for you. Well, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you for all you do. Sure. <laughs> so I've been trying to cater to Seth and make meals and snacks and stuff that he enjoys. So he loves his picnic food. So we've had um, some sloppy joes and pasta salad, deviled eggs. I made a smorgasbord of snacks one night. Um, I made chicken fajitas last night, but he did request some soup. So today I'm going to make um, vegetable soup and I decided to make some muffins to go with it. So here we go! All right, so the muffins are baking. And while I have, you know, 15, 20 minutes, I'm gonna go get a load of wood and bring that in. Um, we have wood inside still, but like I said, I cannot let that fire go out. So I'd rather have a little bit extra <laughs> than to have too little. And I'm also, doesn't know this but I'm trying to build up a little bit of a stockpile for him so that even when he's feeling better he won't have to get it quite as often so here we go all right here we are with the wood pile and we have two types of wood Seth cuts and splits a lot of wood 
And then we also have some, I don't know if you can see down there, these railroad tie ends, I guess. I don't really know, but he buys those, so we kind of mix them. So uh, I try to get at least one load of each type of wood. And then if I'm feeling good, I might get two loads. But um, definitely, definitely gives me an appreciation for what Seth does every day. And I can understand why he, um, you know, I might be cold and say, it, especially not in the winter, like in the fall, I'll be like, build me a fire. And he's like, gotta go get wood to do that. <laughs> so it's definitely been eye-opening for me to have this responsibility. But here we go. All right, we got one load in. I don't know if I can wheel and talk. Um, I felt like I should tell you that Seth did bring in quite a bit of wood before his surgery, um, knowing that it would be hard on my neck and everything. But the surgery was not supposed to be <laughs> so involved. Um, I think he mentioned earlier, but the doctor said, you know, 20 or 30 minutes and you'll be better in two days. But I got uh, a little more involved than we expected so had we known he probably would have done a lot more to prepare but we thought this was going to be simple a couple days and he'll be back to normal so i didn't want you to think that he doesn't take care of me he really does so we will do our best to take care of him for this week then that's it one week i'm done no, i'm just kidding one plus one benefit of burning wood and having to go out and get loads is coming out to see this gorgeous view it's just so pretty the sun's like barely breaking through the clouds the Amish were out here earlier working such a pretty view that we have we're so lucky other benefit is it's a really good workout <laughs> now I don't have to work out today or maybe this whole week okay so the muffins are all done we are gonna start working on the veggie soup I've enlisted some help He's finishing up his after school snack and then he's gonna help. He is excellent at chopping vegetables. Maybe better than me. Maybe. Sure. So, this should come together pretty quickly. Good. Just kicking my feet up, playing a little Fallout 3. Yeah. yeah. Literally. Put your feet up. It has a new meaning, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> Got some pistachios. Got your like, station. <laughs> Brought your guitar down to play. I'm a bit of an oaf right now, but I tried getting up and I got yelled at, so I came back down. Well. <sighs> I'm just trying to take care of you. Ah, thanks. Appreciate it. Sure. 
What you doing there? <laughs> Meal number two. Two? Oh. This is about I mean, 14, uh, isn't it? Meal number two of the of day. day. Well, let me get my... Wait, I made you breakfast, lunch, and this okay. is This is three. Okay, multiple meals of the day. <laughs> Dinner is served Thank to your you, majesty. <laughs> I am the king with the gout foot. <laughs> That's the king's disease. Oh, okay. Because they're yeah. gluttons. All right, tell us what we got here. We got some... Got a little seltzer water. Seltzer, your favorite. Um, Hearty vegetable soup, lots of vitamins and good stuff in there for you. Delicious. Pumpkin muffins with cranberries and fruit salad. Get the vitamin C. Yep. Gotcha. Thanks. <laughs> that was bad. I'm looking through the viewfinder I'm, on the camera. Okay, right, we're to gonna blame you then because yeah, I'm that feeling was like totally my fault. There we All go. Right. What are you laughing at, you little punk? <laughs> What's my lord? I'm not sick. I'm just broken. <laughs> Physically broken. Well, that was our day. I'm pretty whooped. Gotta get some rest and do it again tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> just It's like Groundhog Day. Same thing. Day after day after day. Yeah. Hopefully you start to feel better soon. Yeah. My goal is to, to walk 100 steps tomorrow. Good goal. I think I can do it. It's a big day getting out <laughs> at the post office. Yeah. Went for a car ride. Yeah. <laughs> so, thanks for watching. I just wanted to see what we were doing and how good of a caretaker she is and how good of a patient I am. I just just sit here and... Don't you spell your soup yeah. there, Sunny. Are you you're not going to spoon feed me? <laughs> <laughs> that looks hot. hot. I'm scared. Okay. Mm. It's spot. It's good. You guys should have foot surgery. She'll come and take care of you. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no. This is enough for me. All right, we signing off? I think that's it. Okay. Thanks for watching. Thanks for <laughs> hanging out with us, and we'll have more fun things soon, but at least now you know what's going on. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. Catch you later. Hey, brain dead kid over there. Say hi. Oh, so I can't hear. I have my earbuds in. Say hi to the world. Hi, world. Bye. <laughs> Bye everyone. Everyone's feeling a little cozy and lazy. Have a good night. <laughs>